Hello everyone, my name is Gene Kochi. And I'm Michelle Kochi, and we just want to share our story um, and just let everybody know that God is still able to take something that's dead or that was dead and very broken and bring it back to life. And that's what our miracle is. God performed an amazing miracle in our life. And um, just to give you guys a little background, we kind of talked about it at the table a little bit, but Jean and I were teenagers when we started dating and I was 17. He was 19. We got married young, um, May 1st, 1993. We were married. We had our first child, Joey, who's now 24, five years later. And then Michaela, our daughter, she's 20. We had her three years after Joey and we raised our kids in a Christian home. We were always in the church, served in the church, loved the Lord, had a relationship with the Lord raise our children the same way and then well that's a big mm -hmm. then you know um we, we just stopped prioritizing our marriage mm -hmm. you know our, our story starts as it's commonplace probably for a lot unfortunately but the the ending is miraculous mm -hmm. um and so i dove into my career and um you know the, the cares and worries of the world were my first priority michelle um, being a mom and a homemaker, she did a wonderful job, but that was her priority. And the problem with that is um, y you leave yourself open uh, to the enemy, the deceiver, the, the deception. And um, it's so far from reality that we, 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 had, um, we couldn't be together without arguing. We, we, we just, the, just the bitterness and the unforgiveness uh, ensued and um, we were years just crept up and it, it's not like you wake up one morning, you're happy and your you know, next morning it's, it's all blown up. Um, it's, it's just this subtle deception. And before long, you know, we were, we were alone. going like this, yeah, totally different direction. We're alone and we're together, you know, and, um, and it was, it was, it was dead. It was dying. It, it was final. And, um, you know. In uh, 2017, um, we filed for divorce, and subsequently, 2018, um, legal divorce. Legal divorce ensued, and and um, it it was dead, guys. I mean, we were off to two different paths, and you know, it was um, it was that you know seed of unforgiveness. You know, that, that just kept it, you know, when you have unforgiveness in your heart, there's a justification. And that's, I did this because she did that. Or she did that, you know. Tit for tat, and, back and forth. Yeah. Um, and then we, you know, we, it was over. We thought it was done. And I was, went my way. I was raising my daughter. Her and I were alone together. Jean moved to the lake. He's doing his thing. Going our separate ways. And... God had a different plan. Yeah, he did. And he had a different plan. And, and it wasn't like, you know, the divorce, those, those years that we walked through in the beginning were, were uh, anything to celebrate. You know, mm -hmm. it, was, it was the darkest time of, of my life. And I know um, now talking with Michelle, obviously hers as well, you have this once love and it's shattered and you're picking up the pieces and, and you're trying to mend back and, and hold uh, together and while, while, you know, trying to figure out and let, let God be God and um, seeking his will, but and trying to desperately keep your children together because you don't divorce your children, right? And you, you don't, you want the best for them and the scars and all the worry and the pain. But it wasn't until the gift of forgiveness that was brought mm -hmm. to, to, to our forefront. Um, you know, forgiveness is a gift. It's not a mindful thought or something we do. You've got to be given the gift of forgiveness so, because there's no excuse once that once you truly uh, forgive the person. So I remember one night, I, I, you know, in my brokenness and saying, Lord, just I hated myself. I hated everything I've done. I've become and and, you know, writing down, I said, Lord, help me to forgive. What what need I do? And I'm sitting there writing. And everything that I needed to have forgiveness for, I wrote down. Now, there were many times where I was like, you know, um, um, she's never going to want this. She's not going to accept this. 
But uh, through the power of God, I did it. I, 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 I launched it. And it, it hit her doorstep, and um, she reciprocated in a, in a similar way. And, um, and, you know, go to the podcast, you know, because the forgiveness story is, there's so many things that we'll get There's so much detail to this detail story. Detail that God that... has showed us on forgiveness. Uh, but then the, the forgiveness you, you receive, then you're left, there's no excuse. So now you're left looking in the mirror, and you are what that person you hate and you're looking and, you know, I, I didn't make her feel loved when she, I didn't support her. I did this. I, I did that. And it, and then you break down and you just ask God for forgiveness and you repent mm -hmm. and that repentance. And, and he comes in and the, pl the platform is, is, is new at that point. So I think that was a defining moment is that, yeah. that forgiveness. Oh, absolutely. And, and the fact that we were both, and that's how we know it was a miracle also, because if you would have asked a year and a half, two years prior, mm. would we ever be back together or for, you know, it would have been like, no way, absolutely not. This is, even though we love the Lord and knew that it wasn't right for us to be getting a divorce, we still were like, no. And God just came in. And when he came to, we'll get into the details for the podcast, but he came to speak with me right before Christmas and just kind of poured his heart out. And in that moment, it was like, God changed my heart. That's the only explanation Truly hard. Truly hard. and, and said, yes, give him a second chance, you know, give him a second chance. Yeah. And, um, and then the miracle continued and we got remarried November 7th of 2021. And we Shout had the <laughs> honor of Vernon doing the ceremony awesome. for us. And it was just our kids and us and close family and they all got to see the miracle that God did in our lives because everyone who knew us never expected us. Although we did find out that there were people behind the scenes praying for us, yeah. for our reconciliation, and we never knew it. Yeah. Yeah, and people then came forward and said, you know, I was praying for you guys, for God's work and you guys to reconcile, but never said anything to us about it. Yeah. But um it's just a miracle and it's a blessing and it's not only a blessing and a miracle for, for us, for it's for children. our children and then for others. Cause so many marriages are going through rough times. So many marriages yeah. and you think, you know, this is it. You know, you can never go back from whatever and you can, and you've got to really work. We've learned that Gosh, it's not greener on the other. The grass isn't greener on the other side. It's not. It's not. And 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 for everybody out there, just you guys in the room, we're all married, and you know, don't listen to the lies. Yeah. You know, cherish that Satan's which God has in. made. Yeah. And and love each other unconditionally. You know, and and go to the Father, um, and and ask Him to teach you how to really love, mm -hmm. and and He'll show you. Mm -hmm. yeah, show you. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we had a uh, spiritual heart transplants. Yes. It's so good. Um, yes. No, you know, yes. And, and life, so true. life now, it's just, it's, we're, we're like, you know, 50, going to be 54 this year and, uh, uh 22, 25, 22, 25 sure. <laughs> uh, and, and, and we're, you know, we're, we're so excited. I mean, we're like kids again, dating and all that. It's just, it's so renewed every area. I love, and, and it, so it's and not it's only, just like, but it's only God that could have, it is only the Lord that could have done this. No That's doubt. It. Cause the love that we thought we shared wasn't restored. It was heightened so much. It's mm -hmm. a new found in love. It's so exciting. And uh, I just, I hope that could encourage those that are in that, you know, that moment uh, of despair. There's always hope. God is able. So God able. Is so able. So, so what is life today? And we'll, we'll kind of end. I know times um, uh, of essence. But I had mentioned the table, Romans 8. So, you know, what's happened after reconciliation is so much. The podcast is going to be awesome. That, you know, I can't wait to really share all of it. But, you know, we have a choice to walk in, in the spirit and not the flesh. But it, we're called to do that. And, and the whole meaning behind walk. And w he taught me how to dissect uh, what it means to commit to a destiny and to depend on the foot that you put one in front of the other and, and to walk spiritually because, you know, it, it's, it's just a life that must be wrapped, a marriage that must be wrapped in, in Jesus. Yes. Um, outside of that, no, no way. Mm -hmm. In the world, the flesh, the, everything that influences 
our families out there. Uh, from politics to media to the schools, it, it's, it's, it's too much for any of us to attain. And Satan's going to attack any crack in that door. Any mm. crack, he's coming in. Yeah. So, so that's our story, you guys. I mean, yeah. Right? That's our miracle. Love you. Love you.